Minneapolis police killed George Floyd on May 25th, which is in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic. In the weeks that followed, activists held large outdoor protests in over 280 American cities, leading people to wonder, did these protests lead to a spike in coronavirus cases? Based on the research, the shocking answer is no. Researchers have just published a large study in the National Bureau of Economic Research. They found no evidence that urban protests reignited COVID-19 case growth during the more than three weeks following protest onset. So why? Perhaps it's because these protests mostly are happening outdoors, where the wind tends to dispel the virus. But more importantly, it seems that many protesters are taking those precautions seriously. Hi, everybody. If we, uh, if people here, if we could just back up so we can have a little bit of social distance uh, from the stage, that would be uh, greatly appreciated. You can just back up behind this caution line. Just back up behind the caution line, please. You can just see in this crowd, everyone's wearing masks. Um, there's tons of hand sanitizer. I got this extra mask for free. Someone gave it to me here. Um, so there's a real community care thing that's happening in the movement, and it's really beautiful. Were you scared of infection uh, to come out to such a large gathering? Well, I think these times, you know, are very different. And right now, people are practicing social distancing. As you can see, everybody got their masks on. I think people are being smart about what we're doing because we're doing this for the movement and we're doing this because we have to. So we out here and we out here doing the right thing, doing what we're supposed to be, creating the revolution for our legacy. You know what I mean? For our era. Well, as you can see, this is a very large gathering here. It's difficult to do social distancing in a space like this with people crammed in towards the stage. However, uh, a lot of people are wearing masks uh, around here and there's a slight breeze and even the sun is uh, working to uh, dispel the coronavirus. The CDC advises that you can help to prevent the virus's spread by hand washing, social distancing and wearing a cloth face mask. For BronxNet, I'm Stephen DeCastro. The views and opinions expressed in this program are those of the participants and do not necessarily reflect the views of BronxNet or the program underwriters.